welcome to Happy Horror Time. I am here with Russell Todd of Friday 13th Part 2 and Chopping Paw, uh, Chopping Paw, <laughs> Chopping Paw, Chopping <laughs> Maw, whatever. <laughs> Russell, you, I love how you got into Friday 13th Part 2. You got it through backstage, is yeah, that right? It's, yeah, it's, it's That's amazing. That's like unheard of. I know, it's usually, those are like fake stories you usually hear how someone gets a role. But yeah, I had um, I had an agent, I believe at that time, but I saw, I was going through backstage and I read this uh, casting call and I said, well, I'll just go up on it and see. So I went on it and um, I read and, and they liked me and they said, we want you. And, and in like a matter of days, I was off and running. My agent did do the deal, but um, it all happened so quickly and it was all through backstage. I've never heard that. Like, I mean, I've seen it a million times in backstage and nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to a camp and you're a counselor. Yeah. Like, and I, I know that you did your death scene on the last day. Yes. So right. what do you do that whole time watching your friends die? Like, <laughs> tell me. Well, a few died before me, yes, exactly. So <laughs> I, I watched their deaths. Maybe I learned from their deaths. But um, I knew, I mean, it was scheduled that my uh, death scene would be on my, not, not on the last day of the movie, my last day. Oh, you were last day. Was okay. the, my death scene. So I remember calling my parents and saying, Mom, Dad, you know, it's my last day of the shoot, and we were in Kent, Connecticut, shooting it. My parents were in Albany, New York. It wasn't that far. I thought maybe they'd come up, but they couldn't. But they said, well, good luck. But they said, but Russell, why did they save your death scene until your last day? I said, well, it's just scheduled out that way. I go, you don't think they're really going to kill you, do you? I said, Mom, you know, this is Paramount Studios. This is not a snuff film. Right. So I'm sure I'm fine. And, uh, and, it, and it all went, all went well. Sure enough, you're still here. And I'm still here alive. talking to <laughs> So Chopping Mall, how did you get involved with that? Chopping Mall, I think, was, it's so long ago, uh, wasn't an audition from my agent on that one. And that, of course, was a Roger Corman and Julie Corman film, who were very well known for their, their, their features. And um, I always wanted to do a, a Roger Corman film, a kind of um, kitschy and, and um, classic. But uh, so I went on the audition, and I think that one also happened very quickly. And, that um, is awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he knows you're alone. And you also, might I add, you also were killed the same way. Yeah, isn't that weird? It, I mean, that's very unusual. Yeah, I it's mean, strange. Hanging yeah. upside down. Yeah, and then with a slit throat. <laughs> I mean, it was really weird. So when, in fact, that, I'm glad you mentioned that because when I went to Friday the 13th and they told me how I was going to die, I said, you know, this is exactly the same way I've died before, so I know I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when you were hanging upside down, were you getting a headache? Like, how... Your poor dog. My he doesn't dog, want you to yeah. die. But I mean, like, because obviously movies take a long time. How long were you hanging upside down? I was probably upside down for two or three hours by the time they did this. But they had someone there that would hold me and kind of like lift me up a little so my head wasn't always straight down. Right. So were you getting like, obviously you weren't eating ice cream, but like ice cream headaches, <laughs> like those kind yeah, of things? Yeah, a headaches? little, yeah. It was oh tricky. But uh, once they started filming it, it was one take only because they, they had a prosthetic piece here mm -hmm. and they, uh, they pre-slid it actually. They cut it and all I had to do, sorry, I hit my mic. Sorry, um, they, all they had to do was put my head back when the machete went across it and then they started pumping the blood. Now they say that um, Friday 13 Part 2 is like the one that got the most edited and like the deaths were so much more brutal and bloody, but were you happy with the end result? I mean, like, were you happy yeah. with the end result? You mean right after I saw it the first time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was so excited. I was so young and here I was continuing this franchise, although then it wasn't a franchise, it was just part one had come out and it was so successful. I thought, you know, this is fantastic. I'm in the, in the sequel to this film. Was there like a red carpet premiere or? Um, yeah, but there was all blood. <laughs> It was a bloody carpet. I mean, like, how many times did you go see it? I mean, like, oh, I, I probably saw it, you know, because it was just, it was cool. I, I, I probably saw it a dozen times. Oh, that's cool. And, um, and you know, all the friends I would bring to see it because I was proud of it. Uh, Are you still friends with any of the Friday co-stars? I used to go to a lot of fan signings. So I would see Amy Steele and John Fury and, and Stu, I forget, Charno and a couple of people. But I haven't done that in a long time, but I'm not opposed to, do, to doing that again. But uh, it's always great because you, you, know, you, you can remember the stories of being there and the fun we had shooting it together. 
So it's nice to see those people occasionally. Do you, when it's on TV, do you stop everything and watch it? Or do no, you just... No, I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Life goes on. I, watch, I would just be like, my day is inside. I'm watching Friday 13th. But I do get a kick out of it if I see in a magazine that it's coming on. Or a lot of times people will post on Facebook, oh, uh, your show is, your film is coming on, or, or something like that. Or I see a promo, and I always smile. I feel like Friday 13th is my second birthday. I don't know if you do, and you were actually in it. And I, have, I wasn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you now you. know it all. <laughs> <laughs>